welcome guys. We're gonna start off with a bunny base that comes in the kit and she is really chunky. She's just loaded with angel vine and really gorgeously painted gold. So she's got this gold vibe, she's got these gold ears and polka dots, so much fun. And what we're gonna do on her is we're gonna add her little tail at the bottom on this gold tail pick that also coordinates and goes so well together with our door hangers. Now this kit's available in teal or pink um, and we're gonna make them just a little bit different, but this is the pink version of the kit. So we're gonna start off by taking the, the part that has the tail and just cutting that off and keeping that stem to about about three, two or three inches, and you're just gonna need some wire cutters. It comes with a hanger on it up here at the top, so you don't have to do anything special to hang this on your door. You're gonna need a little bit of hot glue, so I've got my electric skillet with the hot glue off to the side. You could use a glue pot also, either way, but that's what I'm gonna go ahead and um, get some glue on my stem first, and we're gonna push her in right into the grapevine. Now I'm gonna have her tail kind of go off to the left over here. You can pick which way you want yours to go and you push it into the angel line. And it's tight, a little bit tight, pressure going in. And that tail's gonna go in right there. And you kind of want that to shoot off to the side. And the nice thing is it's all wired. So it's really super easy to do that with. And you can pull these curls a little bit forward. I think that makes it so much fun. And you can just have so much fun letting that rock and roll. Now get up here into this pick and take that top section off and we're gonna use this a little bit lower. You're gonna to wanna to dip it in your glue, but I have some glue left over on here from where I just pushed that one in. So I'm just gonna tuck a little of that in side by side. So you've created her little tail sticking off to the side. And instead of having a bow or something, we're gonna keep it super simple and we're gonna put a beautiful butterfly right in here on the front. Now you can take and fluff out her, her wings a little. I manipulate them to give them a little motion. And I want her to kind of tuck in this way. So I'm gonna trim this off. And once again, like a three or four inch stem. And we want to put that in right beside her tail. So I'm gonna just get a little bit of glue on here and then we will pop that in, go in the opposite way. And I want these to kind of overlap. So this tucks in right there. Oh my. Goodness, so cute by her tail. Like that butterfly just landed on her tail. Isn't she precious? She's very simple, that quickly this is done. This would be a great kit to do with your grandkids or your kiddos. And you could get, uh, if you have double doors, you could get two pink. Or if you wanted to do, like say you had little boys in the family and little girls in the family or grown-ups, either way, you could get a, a pink kit and then a teal kit and you can make your own. We have this gorgeous custom designed bunny frame with a gold base. She's got gold ears and this beautiful gold and teal polka dot body. And we're gonna mix with her. She's gonna get her own tail, of course, super cute tail spray. And then she's gonna have a beautiful butterfly. Teal is always trending for all the different seasons. So it looks super cute in this combo as well. And it's a little different. Now, you're gonna need some wire cutters and some hot glue. I am using my electric skillet here off to the side with the hot glue in it, so you will see me dipping it in there and bringing it over to my project. But to start off, just take and cut these down to a couple of inches. We don't need the long stem for what we're doing. So we're gonna cut that down to about a three inch stem. And the same thing here. The only thing I'm gonna do a little different is I'm gonna take and cut off the, uh, the top part here where I get one curl in the tail separated and then this one I'm going to separate these glittery sprays out a little so I can do this a little bit um, control them a little bit more so I'm going to cut that leave this part down here with two curls and then this one here we're going to do into two sections so I'll take it and cut it to where I've got the teal a little separated and then I've got the pink and that way I can just control these placements just a little bit tighter and then this one, we're also gonna cut down to two inches. So don't forget, you can always do that whenever you have a pick. This is something we do in design school all the time. If, you, if you're not a member of our design school, we'd love to have you. It's where we do a little bit higher level projects than this, but I teach you step by step, just like I'm doing here, and you can do it yourself. Now, you see me shaking hands with everything, like, hello, Mr. Butterfly. That is basically what I call just shaking hands. And it means you're prepping all the materials and fluffing them out. 
We fluff this one, then we separate it into sections. Same, same thing, that's what we're doing. Now let's start with the base. I want the little tail to shoot off this way. So let's start off with our double curl, with the one pretty, um, the glittery spray is in there. I'm gonna hold this like a pencil and we're gonna bring it over to our electric skillet and just swirl it in. And I'm getting glue on there. You can use a hot glue gun. You just, you can't, when you use a hot glue gun, you can't touch the glue and stuff like I'm doing here. It's at a lower, temp, a lower temperature in the glue pot. So sometimes you might see me be able to touch the glue faster. Now I like to take these curls and kind of bring them forward and give them a little dimension and pop them like that. That's thinking cute already. You haven't even done anything. Adorable. Now, the other one with the tail, let's have it crisscross and kind of come out this way. Okay, and the tail's gonna sit in the middle. So I'm gonna take that and give that a little swirl again in the electric skillet. Okay, and let's crisscross these. One we did in pink, it's very similar. We did it a little bit different. And you can maybe do a, a hybrid version of what you're seeing here. Now her little tail's there, but I like the idea that her little butterfly came in and just landed right here by the tail and have this kind of face up so when it's hanging on the door it's going to really look good so i'm going to take and bring a little glue to my um to my butterfly this time with my dowel just getting that glue screen off and this was going to go on the top now since this base is made of angel light, it's very easy to press things into and it, we had it designed really thick so you don't have to worry about, you don't have enough space to add things on there. You've got space to get into the line. The basic design is there already. Look how quickly and adorably that came together. What we're gonna do is just use what we call triangle placement to put these in. And we're gonna form a triangle around the butterfly. So you've got a little pop of color coming every direction in the shape of a triangle. So there's one, there's gonna be one under here. And I'm just pushing this into the gold base underneath. And so one, two, the third piece will come right here. Isn't this so easy and simple? This is a great beginner project or just a nice accent to make really quickly for your decor to go with your Easter decorations. Look how stinking cute, y'all. She is so cute. I hope you uh, try one of these type of door hangers, especially these custom design pieces because they're not available everywhere. All right, Bloomerinos, we'll see you next time. Go have fun with flowers.